Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So here we have another iteration of a Malahi SDR receiver. Now this one has a capacity of 3.5 inch IPS touchscreen housed in a nice solid aluminum case. What you will notice here is that either side of the screen appears to be speaker grills and I'm actually quite glad to report that there are speakers behind the grills. So yep, you can listen in stereo. We have a standard SMA socket for the antenna connection and the right side panel contains all of the controls. Now the volume and tune rotary controls also act as push buttons to access further settings. The on and off switch turns on and off the internal battery. And then we have a headphone socket and USB-C type socket, which can be used to charge this unit or utilize some of the features via a computer, such as cat control, audio, or even an IQ output. Now the clear looking button down there on the side, as far as I can tell, just enables or disables the display while the unit is turned on. Now, according to the website specification, this is version four with an immersion gold motherboard, dual speakers and an inbuilt 3000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. Now there is no USB cable supplied with this unit, but it does come with a telescopic antenna, which I'll try out later on maybe the FM broadcast bands. Now to put this SDR receiver to the test, I connected my NFED half wave antenna, which is resonant from 80 to 10 meters without a tuner. It works very well for both transmit and receive, so it will be perfectly adequate for this receive test. I have done a video dedicated on my NFED half wave if you want to go and watch that as well. So the audio you could hear then was coming from the internal speakers of the receiver itself. Now, in my opinion, it does sound quite narrow or thin, but that's most likely down to the size of the speakers that I'll show you later when I tear down this unit. Now to test the audio quality from the headphone jack, I connected a Diamond TS570 external speaker and was actually quite pleasantly surprised. So the firmware that comes with this version 4 is fully activated and therefore we find all of the menu options unlocked and fully usable. If you'd like a detailed run through of the menu system and features and functions, then I previously created a video on firmware 1.1 Charlie and I'll leave a link in the video description to that video. Now comparing this to the other Malahite receivers I've had in the past, this version 4 does feel a lot more responsive, especially with the touch screen. I'm not entirely sure what's changed regarding this, whether it's a better screen or even maybe a faster processor, but it's nice to see that this product is progressing. So we couldn't really do this video without pulling it apart and taking a look inside. As you can see here, the battery and speakers are located on the bottom plate of this receiver with a couple of power cables and ribbon cables heading up to the main receiver board itself. Now for those eagle eyed viewers, you would have noticed the actual antenna connection has popped off the receiver board as I open the case. Now that's not a problem because when I closed it up, you can easily reattach that connector. Now one of the things I noticed when first using this receiver is that there's no rattles or moving parts that you sometimes get with cheaper China made products. However, it would appear all of the items like the speakers and the battery are properly fixed down. Now the solder blobs that you can see between the green PCBs and the black aluminium shell is there to secure the receiver board to the aluminium shell. This also acts as a nice ground to try and eliminate some of that interference when you touch the case. So overall the build quality looks really good and it looks like it's been put together with some kind of sense. So I'd have no hesitation in recommending to buy this particular model if you're interested in buying a receiver of this type. 
Obviously with the rechargeable battery, it makes it ultra portable. And as you have the headphone jack as well, it can even be quite private. This version still has a gap between 250 megahertz and 400 megahertz, but it does go up to two gigahertz. And it also covers from 50 kilohertz up to 250 megahertz. And that's all mode as well. AM, SSB, narrow FM, wide FM and CW with an inbuilt decoder. Well, there we go, guys. That's a quick look at this version for Malahite SDR receiver that I got from Banggood. I'll leave a link to this product down in the description below. Now, if you guys use one of these receivers, I'll be quite interested to know how you get along with it, especially if you're going to connect it to your computer and use the IQ output. What have you done with it? What scenarios have you used it in? I'll be quite interested to know. Leave that all down in the comments below so that myself and others can read it. Anyway, until the next video, take care, stay safe, and don't forget to subscribe, otherwise your fingernails will go rusty. Take care, and see you on the next one.